Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's answer session of Ask Dr. Dan. I hope you all had a great week and thanks again for all the great questions. This week again we were talking about Tenjet, which is an ultrasound guided minimally invasive treatment for chronic tendon pain. With that, let's get to the questions. So question number one is uh, how is the recovery for this procedure different than the surgery? So it's actually a much faster recovery because uh, instead of making an incision that's a couple of inches long, like if we were doing a tennis elbow procedure, uh, this incision is only about three to five millimeters. So no stitches required. We're not damaging any of the uh, skin and the muscle to get down to where we need to go. Um, so usually by four to six weeks, people are, do, are back to doing most of their activities. So a very quick recovery, also much less likely to have any complications such as infection. Um, the other really important thing is that this is all done under local anesthesia, so you don't have to be put to sleep for this procedure. So you don't have to wake up from anesthesia, and you know sometimes when you're waking up, you don't feel very well for a day or two. So the recovery is completely different and much faster than the traditional way. Uh, the second question is a really good one. Can this be used with PRP? Uh, yep, so again, PRP is platelet-rich plasma, which is where we take your own blood platelets and um, we concentrate them and put them into places where you don't have a good blood supply like your tendons. Uh, so yes, this can be combined. The way we usually do it, if you're going to do both, is we would do the TENJET procedure first because what that does is it removes the bad tendon tissue um, and then also promotes a little bit of bleeding, which brings healing, but if that's not doing it enough, um, usually about a month or so after, uh, we could do the platelets, which is just putting concentrated healers right to that spot. Uh, we would usually wait about a month because when we do the TENJET, we're creating a little hole there, and, um, and there's some evidence that if you just put the platelets right in there, it just kind of leaks back out. So what we do is we let the healing start, and then we put it in that healing tissue, and uh, I think we see much better results that way. But yes, these can definitely be combined and we see really good results with it. Uh, that being said though, if you do the 10 jet, I usually uh, give it a little, uh, the other reason we do it at about a month is I wanna see how you're coming along. If you're doing really, really well, then you may not need the platelets. So, you know, we wanna do basically as little as we can that gets you the results you're looking for. Um, Number three, is this covered by insurance? So the answer to that is yes. Um, it is covered by most insurances. Uh, we will typically get an authorization before we would proceed with the procedure. Um, it's the same uh, procedure as the surgery, so it's the same codes as for the surgical procedure, except uh, we're doing it ultrasound guided and, uh, and again, in the office with a much smaller incision. But other than that, it is typically covered by insurance. And the last question, um, what areas can be treated? So uh, this can be used on quite a few areas. Um, it's used in the shoulder for things like rotator cuff or bicep tendon uh, tendinopathy. Uh, you can also clean out if there's any bursitis in that area as well. Uh, it's used for the elbow on the outside, which is tennis elbow, and on the inside, which is golfer's elbow. Uh, it can also be used on the hip for like our glute tendons and our hamstring tendons um, and our, our psoas, uh, any, any tendon in the, around the hip. Uh, for the knee, it could be used in the quadricep tendon and patellar tendon. Uh, for the ankle, it can be used for Achilles tendonitis. And then also for the foot, it could be used for the plantar fascia. So you could see it works in a lot of different areas and uh, can treat a lot of different conditions. So those are the questions for this week. Thank you again for all of them. Um, I hope you all have a great weekend. And uh, remember to like us on all of our social media pages, uh, Apex Center for Regenerative Medicine at Facebook, Regenerate NJ at Instagram, and Apex Center for Regenerative Medicine on YouTube. So again, have a great weekend. And remember, don't operate, regenerate.